Hello, I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, and with the imminent arrival of the next Red Dead game, we thought it only apt to go back and look at Red Dead Redemption's storyline in less than three minutes. So let's do this. Before Red Dead Redemption begins, John Marston was a successful thief, murderer and all-round bad guy as part of a gang led by Dutch van der Linde. John Marston, Bill Williamson and Javier Escuela made up the bulk of the outlaws, but there was also another member who went by the name Abigail. She, for want of a better term, was a travelling prostitute, which was a regular occurrence back in the Wild West days. When John and Abigail got a little bit too intimate, leading to Abigail's pregnancy, John began to yearn for a way to leave the criminal life behind and to one day be an honourable man and a loving father. He asks Abigail to marry him, at gunpoint no less, and begins to mastermind their escape. Thirteen years later, John is left for dead after a botched bank robbery and takes his opportunity to leave the gang along with Abigail and their son Jack. Three years later, in 1911, John is approached by Edgar Ross, a government official who offers him redemption for his previous exploits. Ross has taken Abigail and Jack into custody and demands John kills his old gang mates Javier Escuela, Bill Williamson and leader Dutch van der Linde. Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Bill Williamson is finally killed after running away from Marston multiple times, Javier Escuela is either killed or sent to prison following an assault on a fort, and Dutch van der Linde meets his demise after giving an exceptional monologue and leaping from a snowy mountain. Once all his former gangmates are in the ground or behind bars, Edgar Ross keeps his word and frees Abigail and Jack. It looks like our story ends in happiness, but sadly your heart is about to be ripped out as Edgar Ross decides to double cross John by gunning him down on his own ranch. <coughs> Luckily John has already got Abby and Jack on horseback and sent them away, but when they return, John is no longer of this world. After being buried by his loving wife and son, we then rejoin the story three years later, playing as John's son Jack. Abigail has also passed at this point, leaving Jack all on his own. Jack decides to find out the truth about his father's death and begins to search for his killer. Jack finally tracks down Edgar Ross, who is unrepentant about his acts three years earlier. Ross and Jack duel to the death, which of course Jack wins. Jack continues his father's good deeds and re-establishes the Marsden name in the final days of the Wild West. Please do us a favour and press the like button and maybe even subscribe to our content. We hope that helps to refresh your memory about Red Dead Redemption. I've been Adam from PlayStation Grenade. See you next time, partner. <laughs> That's such a bad joke.